I'm getting ready to go to New York City to meet my boyfriend of one year, Tom. Tom is traveling to New York on business and he asked me to meet him tomorrow, but he doesn't know that I've seen pictures of him with another woman. I thought we were still together, so I feel betrayed, used, and I'm gonna let him know it. Tom texted me earlier and he said that he arrived in New York. He says, hi, Darcy, hope you're okay. I know things didn't go so well the last time we spoke, but I'm in New York now, and if we were willing to meet, I think we have a lot we need to talk about. I hope this can be a peaceful moment rather than anything else. Regards, Thomas. He used to do, you know, love you with the exes, and this is just strange. Also, he's been texting me to take a trip with him to Argentina to meet all his friends. Like everything's gonna be okay after New York. I think he's playing games to string me along to act committed. I feel like he's manipulating me to go so he could feel peaceful for himself because he knows he did me dirty. I'm going there to stay strong and just tell him you can't treat me like this anymore. Goodbye. My name's Tom, I'm 39 years old, and I'm from the United Kingdom. I'm here in New York for my work, but there's a lot of unfinished business between me and Darcy, and I really need to go and see her so I can at least tell her how I exactly feel. I want to try to make it work, which, if you love someone, you do. I think I love Darcy a lot more than she'll ever realize. I did think maybe we could have a future together. Uh, then things changed. I think the distance is a nightmare. I've never experienced a long-distance relationship. This was my first time. And even when she got home, Darcy was still upset and talking about her ex-partner, Jesse. Uh, that was a little bit too much for me. And then the tell-all was a cluster the other night in the hotel. I came down to the lobby. She's in the lobby with another guy wrapped around her. No. Either they were Did she say the guy's weren't. arms were, like, on me or something? No. Yeah. I think I was probably upset about something, so maybe he was, like, consoling me. That's because... A random stranger consoling you. Oh, OK. I still can't get my head around it. I think at this point we need to sit and talk and ask ourselves, are we really going to be in a relationship? This is either going to be something that will live in my memory for a long time in terms of regret, or well, hopefully it'll be the start of something a little more positive. I'm here with an open heart, and hopefully we can sit down and have a conversation like two adults. I just want to be able to tell her what I'm thinking and feeling. Uh, that, for me, is wearing my heart on my sleeve, because I don't necessarily do that. So hopefully she'll come and see me. So, uh, I do have a message from Darcy. She said. Uh, yes, let's meet tomorrow at 12 p.m. She's going to send the address and best Darcy, so. I think it would be fair to say my head's all over the place at the moment. I don't know what mindset she'll have when we meet each other. It's not been great. Will I see her and think, oh, well, you know, there's still something there? Um, or will it be final closure? Um, I just don't know what's going to happen at this point. We shall see what tomorrow holds. We certainly shall.